I went through it as a freelance, you know, as a freelancer. To me, it was feast or famine. Like sometimes I had like a lot of income, much more than I needed. So you got to put it away and assume there's going to be a rainy day. Okay. And the rainy days came. It was, it was always in, you know, waves. You know, I had set a, a group of set customers that gave me fairly regular business. So I never had nothing. Mm-hmm. There was always something. And when, when things would drop, it could be anything. Like I started my business four months before the planes hit the towers. Oh, wow. So I, and you know, nobody's traveling, everybody's afraid, all the, all the businesses just, you know, so you know what I did? We, we had like tons of Japanese families in the neighborhood. There were like 50,000 Japanese people in the Chicago area at the time. I started teaching English. I thought I'd never do that again to salary men. And, and my wife helped Mm me get the word out and that kept me afloat because I didn't have to travel anywhere. They would come to my house and actually a lot of them became my friend too. And it wasn't what I wanted Mm -hmm. to do, but it's what I had to do because I had bills to pay. And, you know, I I just, you you know, you you got kids, you got a mortgage, right? Um, When I was in Hawaii, there were a couple of these times that hit. And again, I had a good year before, so I had, money stockpiled and then when i knew i was going to be down for a while i'd say okay do any of the neighbors need their house painted (laughs) so i mean i actually painted houses um and you know just did we did hula groups from japan we got you know and we 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 took what we could get when you know when we had time down to do it that's how i dealt with it so you know, my main gig was doing the training mm. and it was, and it was regular enough where I had a baseline of income that I could keep going, but you know, it would go up and down. Right. Yeah. That's how I did it. So I, I was always paranoid. Even when I'm riding high, I'm like, okay, well, I better put this money away, yeah. you know, for when the times mm. come down. 